you know, every leader needs to come with a, a set of gifts, and sometimes it's uh, being a, a visionary and a thinker, and uh, being a pastor, you also need to be uh, really gifted at, at preaching and teaching the Bible, and, and people love my teaching and my preaching. In fact, I just preached last Sunday, and um, I just had such a great response. People really seem to love um, what I have to say. They think I'm wise. And in fact, I just had one um, elderly woman come up to me um, on Sunday afternoon, right after, and say, Oh, oh, Pastor Eric, I, I really see amazing things from you later on in your life. It's so obvious you have God's gift uh, in your life. And I, um, I love that. I think that's great. Being an associate pastor, I don't get to preach all the time, but um, I just know people really have loved it. In fact, I bet that's another. I bet that's another one right right now. Hello, this is Eric. I have to tell you something. I heard your sermon last Sunday. Oh uh, yeah. And I have never been so offended in my entire oh. life. Oh. I don't tell you, I was so offended. Uh, uh, you said it was uh, Okay, okay. Well, that's. Uh, I think. Um, I wrong. Uh, wrong wrong number. Well, obviously that was a wrong number, and um, yeah, people just really, really love my preaching. I'm just really good at it. Yeah, I think there's some budget cuts. Yeah, I heard that too. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm so, I just can't believe this December drama thing. They're always, I mean, they don't tell us what's going on. I, I know, I can't figure out why this church can't just figure this out. We just need. We just need money. I know. And who's gonna get that? I don't. I mean, I don't know what the plan is. That's kind of scary. This December drama thing. December December drama thing. It's. See, I always thought it was, you know, like I got my wife a bad Christmas present, or it couldn't. You know, it's Christmas Eve and I'm banging on the door of Macy's trying to get some stupid pair of socks and a scarf or something like that. Some crud like that. But the church, I don't quite understand. But I heard Eric and Carrie talking about that somebody might get cut. Yeah, I think I'm pretty dispensable, more or less. I, the words of Eric Hansen, I'm easy to fire. So, you know, he's harder to fire, I'm easier to fire. So I could see them saying, yeah, youth ministry. What do they do anyway? And that'll save us however much money, so we'll... Yeah. December drama. I'm gonna tell you something. Um, there is no December drama. It's a conspiracy. Uh... The December drama happens in December, imagine that. Uh, and it's basically where at the end of the year we run out of money and all the pastors get up in front of the church like every week for like, you know, November and December and say, if you don't give us your money, we're going to have the December drama and we really want to avoid the December drama. And then in January, everyone holds their breath and is like, or end of December and says, are we okay? Are we okay? And then inevitably we're okay. That's, that's my meager understanding of what the December drama is. I mean, it happens every year, you know? People, people don't have that kind of money, you know? The church, the church has the money. Yeah. I mean, look at this building. You think that people actually pay for this building? Have you seen the cars in our garage? They're not nice cars. I mean, most of them are like, like my, like my car. You know, this is like the, you know, one of the most expensive places to live. People don't have that kind of money to shell out. This is, it's this whole, um, wanting everybody to feel good about the miracle that God just, that He just did something special and magical. You know, we don't have money and all of a sudden, voila, there's money every year. You really believe that? 